Welcome. Today we want to talk about how to write correct chemical formulas. First, you need to understand that a chemical formula is a compound. Uh, actually, it's made a compound. A chemical formula is made up of two or more elements which are chemically combined. So, uh, I want you to understand that we have different compounds. Uh, we have compounds that we call sulfates. So a sulfate are actually salts. So just add a metal name from back and you have the sulfate. For example, you can have sodium sulfate, magnesium sulfate. That one is a compound. So we have sulfates, we have carbonates, we have hydroxides, we have chlorides, we have oxides, we have carbonates, I have said that, uh, sulfates, carbonates, hydroxides, chlorides, oxides. Others we have um, nitrates, we have um, uh, nitrates. Yeah, these are the major compounds that we have. So we can have sodium sulfate, sodium carbonate, sodium hydroxide, sodium chloride, sodium oxide. So these are what we call compounds. So, how do you write a correct uh, chemical formula? You need to know for a, for a metal to form a sulfate the sulfate the chemical simple that is the radical sulfate is s o4 to minus the carbonate is c o3 to minus hydroxide is oh negative chloride is chloride chloride ions and then oxide is oxygen to minus right so uh, which one let me include the nitrates so the nitrates nitrate is n o3 minus we can also have ammonium ion ammonium ion which is n h4 positive so most of these are called radicals these are radicals and you should know the definition of what a radical is a radical is a group of atoms in fact you should know that a radical a radical is a group of atoms with a net charge that exists and react as a unit during a chemical reaction so the radicals they react as uh, as a as a unit as a group for radicals the variance of the radical is the charge for example the variance of sulfate is 2 the variance of carbonate is 2. The variance of hydroxide ion is 1. The chloride is 1, we know. Oxygen is 2. Nitrate is 1. Uh, ammonium is 1. So knowing the charge is the variance is very, very important during writing the equations. So those are, that is, those are the basic things you must know. The variance electrons. So the most thing, important thing to know is the variancy. Variancy is the number of electrons, number of electrons, an element loses or gain a during a chemical chemical reaction during a chemical reaction. For radicals, the charge is their variance. We don't have much word about that. But now, for, for atoms, like 
sodium, an element like sodium. What is the variance of sodium? You know very well that sodium is atomic number 11. So you write electron configuration 2 to 8 to 1. It means during a chemical reaction, it will lose one electron because gaining 7 to be stable requires a lot of energy. But losing one is very easy. Therefore, the, the variance of sodium, sodium will lose one. One electron have the variance of sodium is one. Magnesium will lose two electrons, so the variance is two. Aluminium will lose three electrons, therefore the variance is three. So the electrons an element loses or gains during the chemical reaction is what we call the valence electrons and they are very important for you to write the correct chemical formula. So I want to begin with the sulfates. For example, I want to write sodium sulfate. So I want to write sodium sulfate. First, you know the sulfate. The sulfate is SO4 to minus. You should know that. Sodium is Na. We know very well that sodium is atomic number 11, therefore the variance is 1. We know sulfate has a net charge of negative 2, therefore the variance is 2. Right? So what happens during the chemical reaction? They will interchange the valence electrons. Therefore we will have sodium one and no two and then sulfate one so one times anything one times a number is that number so one times the sulfate is the sulfate therefore the correct now final formula of sodium sulfate is n a 2 s o 4 and this one is what we call sodium sulfate so you can bear with me witness that it is important for you to know the valence electrons. Let me write sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate, we start with sodium. And then carbonate, you should always know that a carbonate is C, oxygen, 3. And the charge is negative 2. It means that the valence of the carbonate is 2. So we have the carbonate which has a variance of 2, sodium has got a variance of 1. So the equals multiply like this, like this. So we will have sodium 2 carbonate. And that is the correct chemical formula for sodium carbonate. Magnesium uh, sulfate or carbonate sulfate. Magnesium is atomic number 12, so it means that for you to understand and uh, write this chemical formulas correctly, the first 20 elements must be very, very clear in your mind. The first 20 elements, how to write electron configuration, and what happens during the chemical reaction is very important. So, magnesium is atomic number 12, so it loses two electrons to be stable, so the valence of magnesium is 2. Sulfate, we have said the variance is 2, so they will interchange. Cross multiply like that. So we will have magnesium 2, sulfate 2. Fine. But since this is 2 and this is 2, they cancel out because 2 divided by 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So they cancel out and therefore the final correct chemical formula for magnesium sulfate is MgSO4. And that is what we call magnesium sulfate. So elements which are not in the first 20 elements, such as zinc, copper, lead, iron and barium, all of them they have a variance of 2, except this one, iron 2, we can have a variance of 2 or a variance of 3, depending, but you will know. So, they have a variance of 2. So if I want to write, for example, zinc nitrate, zinc nitrate, nitrate is NO3, it is variance 1, this is variance 2, I have said that. So to write zinc nitrate, it is ZN3, you put a bracket, 
and then this one would transfer to here so that one is the correct chemical formula for zinc nitrate if it is lead carbonate lead sulfate the same like we have done previously barium has a variance of two so if i'm writing barium chloride chloride is atomic number 17 that is chlorine it has a variance of one so this one has two this one has one so what happens one two so barium chloride is BaCl2 and this is the correct chemical formula for barium chloride if i want to write ammonium nitrate or ammonium sulfate ammonium sulfate ammonium ion is written h n4 it has a positive one sulfate is s of four it has negative two so post one mean tells you that it has a variance of one this has a variance of two therefore they will interchange the variance as they, like this so one and then two so the correct chemical formula for ammonium sulfate is n h4 put a bracket two sulfate that is the correct chemical formula for ammonium sulfate which compound have I not hydroxides hydroxide when you are told to write sodium hydroxide remember you are adding OH so if I'm adding so I have sodium hydroxide it remains like this why hydroxide has a variance of one sodium has a reference of one so that is the correct chemical formula for sodium hydroxide but what if it is zinc hydroxide is zinc hydroxide zinc will not remain like that zinc hydroxide will be like this why zinc has a variance of two hydroxide has a variance of one so it will put one on zinc and zinc will put two on hydroxide similarly magnesium hydroxide will be like this magnesium hydroxide because I drop magnesium as a variance of two aluminium hydroxide aluminium hydroxide will be written like this we put the three here why the variance of aluminium is three and so forth and so on the oxides metal oxides we have metal oxides and non metal oxides an example of an animetal oxide is carbon 4 oxide. An example of a metal oxide is magnesium oxide. So magnesium oxide is written as simple as this because oxygen has a variance of 2. Magnesium has a variance of 2. Therefore it balances 2, 2 and that is it. Carbon. So let us check at carbon. So C, oxygen. Carbon is atomic number 6. Uh, six years so the variance is four uh oxygen is the variance is two so what happens let them exchange two four right so we will have c two o four but since two is a multiple of four two cancels one two here twice therefore we have c o two carbon four oxide it is written like that silicon oxide we have silicon and then we have sulfur four oxide sulfur and then oxygen sulfur four oxide this one is called sulfur four oxide or sulfur dioxide whichever one you want to use copper we can have copper i have said copper is not in the first 20 elements so the variance is two so we have copper sulfate copper nitrate so copper sulfate is cu so4 this one is called copper 2 sulfate we can have copper 2 nitrate copper 2 carbonate chloride all of those so long as you know the variance of a metal then writing a chemical formula is very very easy and simple so some chemical formula which you must know sulfuric acid is h2 so4 this one is called sulfuric acid nitric acid is hno3 hydrochloric acid is h 
CL. Magnesium nitrate is Mg NO3 put a bracket to zinc carbonate is Z and CO3. Barium nitrate is Ba NO3 put a bracket put to zinc nitrate is zinc Zn O3 put two because the variance is two. Water is H2O. Potassium chloride is KCl. Ammonium carbonate is NH4. A carbonate you put a bracket here two CO3. Hydrogen sulfide is H2S. There are so many others uh, you can write until tomorrow, but you can see it is simple to write the chemical formula so long as you know you understand the variance of the radical and the variance of the metal involved thank you very much thank you for your time